like, yo, why are you looking so sad? Like, yo, cheer up. You guys are something else. So she's taking my hand like this. Audience, I'm your Sylvie Q, Earthwork, a new day, fresh, blessing, love, life, carefree. Welcome all family, friends to my channel, and new subscribers. This story is called Mission Pomegranate. I know it's good for your heart and it helps you with memory. Hey, town to go visit my brother Wiz. Wiz, you know what? I think we should go call him for your last day. He calls up uh, my cousin Blue, go to Follies, uh, strip clubs in um, Atlanta. I make a beeline straight to the bar area. My brother Wiz like, what do you want? I'll just take Syrah, the regular flavor. Now mind you, I'm a light drinker, all right? I'm not a heavyweight. I'm peeping the scene and all that. I gotta go recruit it, all right? I gotta go scout it. I take one step and two steps, so now I'm standing. And I take that first step, all of a sudden, the room starts spinning around. I'm like, hold on. I only took a cup. So after that, I take one lap around, not a victory lap, a drunk lap around. Wiz and um, my cousin Blue both came up with this conclusion. A slim but shapely girl. So I was like, all right, fine, I'm gonna go with the flow. While she's taking me to the to the back where the, where the uh, couch is, I'm like, yo, you guys are something else. Like the famous saying goes, it's on boys tab. So I'm not paying, I'm just here to have a somewhat I'm here to be introduced to the club scene, all right? I'm not here for a good time. Tangling, by the way, is uh, dancing. She was like, hey, do you want to go bowling with me? Well, bowling is a sport. Get your mind out the gutter. When you get a lot of strikes up on the screen, it's an X or letter X. Just don't put too much X's on Google. I'm like. Nah, I'm all right, I'm cool. So then I go back. So glad to be back on my timeout chair. My cousin Blue, what you want? I said, let me just get Syrah, the Apple one. My cousin Blue is like, yo, why are you looking so sad? Like, yo, cheer up. I'm in my head, I'm not sad. It's just that I'm not supposed to be drinking like this. Now I'm not drunk, but uh, I'm not sober either. I'm in between. And all this time, we'll just say that my other half was sleeping the whole time. I don't know whether it was drinking or it was probably that pomegranate that I had earlier. I thought it was health benefits and it ends up letting me down. Since we picked the last one, you gotta go pick the last one. You gotta go pick the next one. I'm like, all right, fine. I'm in my head, this is gonna be the last one. The music comes on and she starts working on me. I'm like, man, I'm really letting them down. While I am while I was dancing with the last one, we gotta get out of here, it's urgent. What's the rush? We could just stay for another hour. I'm like, no, I don't wanna stay for another hour. I wanna leave right now. I already got my two lap dances. We go walk out and I never knew that drinking could, um, let's say, unleash your emotions. So then, I'm in my feelings, man. So I, I had to tell him, you know, as a man, you know, straight up, I was like, I just need another chance. If you invite me again, promise that I won't be disappointed like I was doing today. It's like, yo, don't worry about it. It give you reassurance just like that. It's like a backhand. I don't, I don't even want to do this anymore, man. So then, well, we get in the car, and then I go to my next flight, and yep, that was about it. I want to thank you guys for watching the BS, the backstory. Walk easy.